welcome to my channel my name is Anne. thank you so much for stopping by i am so excited it's the first weekend in spring and we are having some nice floridian weather oh my goodness the skies are blue the sun is shining the birds are chirping loudly and their blended voices seem to just echo a warm welcome to spring and my orchids my orchids are also showing their appreciation with for this spring season they have lovely spikes cascading blooms and that's the reason i decided to jump on right now and just to show you a few of the wonderful blooms in my little orchid nook these are just some of the orchids that i have indoor and i'm going to take you on a little walk through and show you what's going on come with me Let me give you an overview. This is what it looks like. It's just a little entrance table. And it has, I started with two orchids here and um, there is not a lot of light here. So I have um, supplemental lighting. And because they were doing so well, I took <laughs> I took a few others from their old places and put them here. So they're all huddled together, not because they're so loving, but because they all need to be as close as possible to the source of light, which is right here. Okay. All right. So let me take you back here at the center of things i have this huge phalaenopsis they're all phalaenopsis here but just look at the gorgeous blooms oh my goodness look at that beauty look at that beauty she is doing fantastic all the buds are pretty much open save for two i think there are two or three unopened ones so but she is doing so wonderful and i'm just enjoying these blooms and here right above i have two smaller ones and this one is in full spike it is spiking if i could get it to focus a little bit yes it is spiking so i guess in another few weeks this one should start opening and this neighboring one it has really nice lush leaves nice and thick just healthy looking leaves and roots but it is still not spiking so i'm hoping that it will get a little bit jealous and um start spiking soon <laughs> also on the up oh, Per shelf this one there's a little one there as well which is also not spiking right now but also looking very very healthy and full and then if i take you back here i'm trying not to make you too dizzy so i'll go slowly and over here i have another one this beautiful magenta so pretty and you know what this one bloomed recently maybe six months ago if you can see i'll turn it around and show you right where i cut the old stem here and it pushed out these um new stems and voila new blooms so that's a little trick too if you have old stems don't just um as long as they're not dried out don't cut them off you just cut right um, above a node these are the little nodes here so you cut right above a node and this will prompt it to bloom again it works 90 percent of the time with me so here she is and she's standing here what i did i um to create a little bit more height I just turned a flower pot over and put it on it just so it can be closer to the light source and um, in the corner here I have a little golden pothos that has trailed all the way down and it's sitting on some books as well 
books are um you can use any kind of books you can get old books you can use books that you get from the thrift store and just to create some height for your plants and um it has cascaded all the way down to the floor and across from this i have another beauty here this one is in full bloom all the buds are open and just look at her really regal and looking nice i just love these blooms they are so they make me so happy anybody love spring <laughs> comment in the chat just let me know what you like um, most about springtime I just love the blooms the freshness everything is just seem to be so new and fresh and these blooms ah, they make my day they make my day so that is all the blooms that I have right here now I have most of my orchids are outdoors on the balcony but I do have these little ones here inside that, um, you know, you get to see them every, every morning that I come downstairs. I look at them and I'm like, wow. <laughs> Guys, I apologize for that abrupt cut off. My phone died. I wanted to show you this little um, Monstera cutting that I have here. I propagated about three weeks ago and I am already seeing progress. Look, you can see two growth points. Goat point number one and goat point number two. So I am happy about it. It's making progress. And most of all, I like the setup. I like the teapot. What do you think? Let me know. All right, guys, I thank you so much for stopping by. It's been my pleasure to show you my orchid this morning. And before I go, I just want to leave a quick word of encouragement with you. Um, if you are going through a difficult situation right now, just remember that just like the seasons, difficulties do not last. So don't lose hope. Don't give up. Remember, seasons change. And just as these beautiful blooms, look at them. These beautiful blooms, they will erase all the harsh memories of winter so will your present circumstance be replaced by great opportunities in your next season so remember this tough times don't last so be encouraged thank you so much for watching if you like my content please subscribe share and i will see you in my next video bye